Want to see something funny? I'll show you something funny. You're not going to be able to see, but I just put new sh rear shocks on this truck. You got to do the front. So, cramming in this garage barely fits. You don't like when you have the door open to the plane. But look, barely fits over here. I can't get through. My tools are over here. I'm working on this side. So, how do I get through? <laughs> Go to the freaking truck. Up the seats, everything else. Oh god. That's what you gotta do. You can go to the house too. That's what's going. The truck's more fun. <laughs> Let's get the wheels on. Oh, I'm not even making a video. So the rear shocks are cake 21 and 21, top and bottom. These fronts are the questionable. I have no idea, not yet. And the uh, 21 on the bottom, you gotta lift it up. You gotta put a little pressure in your control arm to get that bolt out easier. Unless you're gonna be fighting at the back. I just did it on the truck. And I was fighting the um, the shocks. But I got them in. And now I gotta work this bolt out slowly. If I had like a little screwdriver or something, or a punch, I can just punch it out. That's what I might do. I gotta go back to the other side. Uh, go to the house this time, it's easier. It's too much of a workout. Hey, look at that. Back on this side. Oh, uh, shock. I'm gonna need a shock for this side. Oh, I put it one over there, okay. My daddy put one over there, my daddy. Uh, yeah, that's probably big enough. That, a little tapping hammer. Um. Well, that nuts metric, I have no idea though. But you know what? We might just take the whole slew of them. Just to get it done. Well, this might actually work out. Yeah. Put it to that, that side. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, work people. I'll get it done. I don't know how, but I do. Alright, we'll put all these over there too. So I won't have to come back, hopefully. Excellent, back to the house. <laughs> this is funny. I don't need light. Hey, someone dropped off some tools. I don't know who that was, maybe it was Santa. Alright, let's get this thing off now. Anytime you take off hardware, I like to just put it on the ground the way it came off. We had the, uh, the front of the bolt on this side, and we had a nut back on that side. So let's put it back the way you found it. That's our top nut, whatever that is. And I should have really got something to hold that shift. Oh no. Back to the other side. I had this too. I don't know if it fits on these or not. No, that has the, uh, it's like a double D. Yeah, it's different. I just got a regular hex on mine. I don't think that's gonna work. Again, new tools and packages never used. I just like to collect shit when I find it for cheap. Um, a pair of ice grips would work, okay. Some of these would work. Uh, yeah, we need a bigger pair too, just in case. Back to the other side. Well, I got my tool on, and it works pretty well. I must say that. Just that I can't really get to it. Might have to uh, wrench it from up top. Or maybe not. Maybe I can squeeze too. I'm not taking out the center fender, that's for sure. Even though it's only a couple clips. But, <laughs> not risking it. Screw that tool. When I'm removing, you're gonna break the bitches. Which I have done in the past, but I kinda wanna sell these. I get 20 bucks for them. But, uh, do I put a vice grip on it right there. Use the long extension, impact it from the top. Got the bitch out. Bonk. What was that? Shock falling on the floor. Excellent. Always compare your new shock with your old shock. It's another reason why I don't like to break them. They look the same. 
probably put it out with the port number out. I like to do it like that so you can see it on the truck. Port number instead of that. So I get on the back too. Um, get our new bushings. The bushings a little. This end goes up to the frame and that end will go down on top. So new washer, new lock nut. Let's throw it on. Well, look at that. There's a bushing in there. And it's not part of the shock, so that eventually probably wears out and you gotta press it out. It's a crappy design. It comes out this way, it looks like. That way. You gotta press from this side out. Wow. Maybe a little ball joint press will work for that. Interesting. <laughs> so there's a bushing in there, shock bushing. Alright, let's put this thing back in. Okay, we snugged up our lower bolt a little bit. We're gonna have to drop our control arm for it to line up. So now we're just going to jack up the control arm slightly. So this pushing meets up in that hole over there. So we can tighten our thing from the top. That looks about good right there. One more pump. Yep. That looks perfect. Alright. Let's go tighten it up from the top. I didn't even show you how this tool goes. See that little piece goes on the bottom. I can't use that other collar. It's too big, but you just put a wrench on top of there, get a wrench on the bottom, you tighten your lower nut, and you don't spin your shaft. You don't spin the shaft, you can damage the shock. Ah, man. We're always a little tricky. Worst one is rusty. This one's not too rusty. Look. deal is you can tighten these things all freaking day, but I think that's good right there. I got a little bushing squash. And I got a little bushing squash in the bottom. You don't want to go too tight, you'll crack the bushing. And that almost looks like it's pretty tight right there. Probably too tight, but whatever. See, the old bushings were a little bit more uh, stout. See, and that one kind of gave out compared to the top one. But, whatever. Looks good to me. Do the other. Put the shock in one side, and I notice these Bilsteins, they're way softer than these stock ones. Now watch this, I can push down these Bilsteins. They almost come up like immediately. This one, however, the old one, you push it down, it takes forever. Real hard to push down, really hard to push down. Ah. It takes forever to expand back up, expanding ever so slowly. Oh, still going. Still going. Still going. Nope, just stopped. I don't know what that's all about. Kind of don't like soft shocks. I don't know. See, so this side's stiff as anything. You can barely push down on it. That side goes. I don't know. Hopefully they're going to work out okay.